simmer for five minutes. It has to come to a boil if you're going to simmer. It says here, do not boil. Why don't you boil? See, I think we need to try to educate as we as we go through. That's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, we came in for the sugar. Just keep reminding yourself why you came into the pantry, and then you won't get lost. Well, Rats for sale. I've got nothing for sale. Nothing. But yeah, let's just I focus planted, on the carrots then, I because the rest it. of this is lousy. You, would you zip me, please? Yeah, of course, my yes. pleasure. Okay, put well, it on. sometime today. Pull. Pull. Well, they have and to be continued. We don't the, have time the episodes to do it. Have, yes. We don't have time to do everything you want. No, not in 20 minutes. Exactly. 30 minutes, no. And don't make it too tight because I'll look like a big, fat, blown up raccoon that was hit by a car three days ago lying on the side of the road. So we can, Exactly. We're not going to rush everything together like they no, do on no. these other shows. It's, no, no, no. That's not what this is about. No. My God. I know it's not that. Well, you would think you could just pull it up. It's not that easy. It's not like Bugs Bunny, is it? Just pull it up. See, it's not just pull it up. Well, what are we finishing? The recipe. Somebody, started. please tell me what we're gonna finish. The recipe we started on the before. Okay, well, nice hat. Welcome back to Making It With More Eyes. Now we are going to continue uh, and finish our recipe. What recipe? It's always good to have a timer all ready to go in the kitchen. This is one of these combination, I would hate to say that it was a Sony, but it is. Thank you, Sony. Because they make this really nice under the counter CD radio clock uh, player for you. Clock timer, radio, CD. iPod. iPod thing, connector. Exactly. Yeah. So, moving forward with the recipe. Being bacon soup, it takes two leeks. And you have to get the filth off of them too. You know, most of the stuff we get is organic. Uh, but, but organic doesn't mean no. it's not gonna be full of Exactly. Not yet, oh, come here. Wait here by my side. Three stalks of celery. Two medium two onions, stocks. one carrot, two 15 ounce cans of fava beans. Canned beans? Are you kidding me? Oh! Bean and bacon the, are, we finishing, are we finishing the bean and bacon soup? When you make recipes, the, it, it, the food is only as good I as the ingredients that go in. Exactly. Now, would, what would your mother say if she knew you were putting canned something in? She would be horrified. Exactly, she would. You, have you started preparing a whole bunch of stuff that you weren't supposed to do again? No, I didn't. Because he has a tendency to do that. Your hat, your hair's coming out of your hat in the front. And so salt and ground black pepper. And six cups of, of uh, beef broth. It's very hard for us. Now the beef broth, now see this was another thing that we went around and round with. Because and half a pound of bacon. <laughs> cooked crispy and crumbled. Because you really should have your About own six beef broth. To eight, uh, and it takes Great. all day to make. Now you've made homemade beef broth. Yeah, of course I have. It's yeah, homemade. but you know, most people who watch cooking shows, how many of you really go and actually start making the recipes? So they, did you put a timer one hour? No. Don't because worry, it said you're it. supposed to simmer it or boil it and it hasn't started to boil yet. Do you think it's boiling? It's simmering. Do you? It's simmering. It's not even simmering yet. As this cooks, oh. we have fat. There, there, there's no fire on it. All over here. Oh, you have to true. turn the heat on. You have one more to do? Yeah, but the reason nothing's happening here is because there's no fire under it. 
You see, if you cut in an angle like that, you cut the fat out. Or if you cut it like that. But do the way you want. Well, thank you. I don't want to interfere. And I love this applewood smoked bacon. Even though it's my show. I mean, everything's better with bacon. Let's have some more of that wine. As I was saying, or trying to, there is a uh, recipe here <clears throat> called Darnish Snake with Fiery Sauce. Well, he's going to talk about that snake, isn't he? Just, and... Just talking about the snake? I want that, I want to do that that, that uh, well then dish. do it. But I wanna go I wanna go hunting for the snake. Will you go with me? No. Why not? How horrible. Look, well, you're if eating, I had to now I know what you're gonna pig. say, I know what you're gonna say, I know you're what you're going gonna to say. Eat pig. If I had to kill the my we own just pig. Killed a, a few carrots. No, the carrots don't bother me. But if I had to kill my own pig, it's I would I would not alive. eat bacon. I just no, I wouldn't do it. If I had to kill the animals, I would be vegetarian. So I'm a hypocrite. You don't need to kill, you just go hunting, you don't, you just look. And then what are you gonna do if you plan on, well, or I'm you're not, gonna kill it? I'm, I'm not killing it either. I'm going to try and find someone who will. Uh, oh, so we need to find a snake hunter. Exactly. You know, we get people in the hospital all the time, all the time in the summertime who, who they're, um, they're almost always bit right in here. And most of the time, mm. they're doing gardening. No, most of the time they're drunk. Really? Well, almost every snake bite comes in. They've been drinking. Do you think that the snake? The snake has been drinking. I'm, I'm not engaging in this with you. I, no, it's just ignorance. If I find someone to go, you know, rattle right snake hunting with me, then I will make the dish. We'll see. Dilly dally, dilly dally, dilly dally, dilly dally. And you wonder why things don't get done. It's, yeah, it's medieval, all right. It's those Dothraki. They're just, they're savages. Dothraki, yeah. Yeah, the Dothraki, they're savages. The Dothraki savages. from the Game of Thrones series. Yeah, they're, they're savages. Another dish that savages. I Savages! Another dish that I want to prepare is called Honey spiced locust. Why are you going on on all what you're going to, why don't you prepare what we're supposed to prepare today? Do you want some more wine? Please. And you wonder why things burn in the oven. And you wonder why the stuff that happens happens. It's this constant dilly dally. My God, this is, this whole, the whole show's falling apart. So, listen. How can I not? I'm standing right here. And then you know, the bacon, you need one of these little, forky like things to separate it. Go ahead, oh, I'm listening. Actually, that is going to go really well with the, with the drink. Now notice how all this bacon is filling the pan and, and there's no splash. There's no splatter or anything. Why not? Because the, there's so much bacon in here, there's not enough pop in all the, the grease is down below. Oh. This is the way I always do bacon. Oh, I knew about that. Mmm, that they smell good. No. Yeah, even the just raw fat, I know. Throw it out, please. Okay, so I think we've had enough wine for today. I agree. 10 ounces of uh, boiler or pearl onions. That's not very many onions. See, I don't like making just such a tiny little batch of things. We can tell by the bacon. Exactly. You're gonna, if you're gonna make oh. something, make a big batch. He'll, cook, he'll try to cook three or four slices. No, 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 he wants to cook the whole thing. Yeah, we'll cook it all up because you can do so many things with bacon. Clean and peel the onions. I do it. Yeah, good, because I'm busy with the bacon and the soup. Cook two, three pounds of it. But if you don't need, if you don't need, if you need only one slice, you cook three pounds of bacon, and then what? And you it, eat it. And does it ever go to waste in this house? Well, the, look at me. I guess it does. It does it. That kind of mushy. And there is one that's like rotten, and you know, they don't fail to disappoint. So we have less than ten ounces because I'm third. I'm throwing away the third onion. Because because look did, at that. It's rotten. It's rotten. But you know what we can do? We'll just fill in with some chunks of a regular onion. Or bacon. Wait a minute. 
I need glasses to peel onion. That's why I bought them. Would you like to try a cashew cluster? Is that part of the recipe? I recommend them because you need a little a snack while you're cooking because that bacon just makes you hungry. I know, aren't they? And they're very healthy. They have cashews, pumpkin seeds. This, these are what we call HAs. HA stands for healthy alternative. Instead so of eating chocolate. Instead of, yeah, instead of eating like Lay's potato chips, which are really good, or Doritos, and we do just get some of the cashew clusters. You're not going to lose weight, but you are, it's just, it's a healthy alternative. Seems like my helper is busy doing something else. Well, I'm making a little snack for everybody. I have to do it myself. I'm multitasking. Don't worry. I'm not worried. I'm feeling. Wrong knife. Every now and then you have to come and stir this, these little bacon chunks. And you leave it on high heat the whole time. So, when you're doing it... Doing what? When you're peeling and clean the little pearl onions or boiled onions, you can always ask for your least favorite child to, to do the peeling because it's oh my a God. lot of what? I can't believe you said that. Or? Your least favorite child, they love all their children equally. You ask any parent, they'll tell you that. Yeah, they lie. Which is, it's good, it's a form of love. It's a form of love. You never... You never can, tell your children that they're the favorite? Exactly. You always, even if you are lying... So you don't believe, you think you should just lie to them and tell them that yeah, you love them Yeah, because it's a form of love. You are, you are trying to protect the child. And the child, you know. The child, you know that... The you child knows they're not the favorite, don't they? But, but the simple fact that your your parent is lying, saying that you are, that the parents love all the, you know, all the children alike, it's a show of love. Really? Mm -hmm. I heard that on the TV the other day. Because their parents lied to them and told them they were the favorite child, and they found out later they really weren't. No, they, they were don't really say. No, they don't say. You don't say that you are fa you, you have a favorite one, even though you do. You don't say that. You just. You just my lie. mother did, even though she didn't raise me and put me know, into a boy's home at age I know, five. I know, I know, I know, but what, I, what I'm saying... Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to have a moment with everybody, but clearly you didn't want to hear it. You, you don't tell the least favorite. Or that you're you the least favorite. You don't tell your children that you have one that's favorite. You tell that you love them all equally. So you're mm -hmm. just, even though they know better, you're supposed to say that. Yeah, because they know you are doing that in a, you know, as a form of love. So you're lying for love is what we're saying here. And that's what you've done to the people today, telling them that you had 20 pieces of clove instead of 22, and that you had fresh nutmeg instead of that bottled stuff. Out of love. It's all lying for love. Yeah, all right. Whatever. Now notice the bacon is beginning to cook down and you're getting a lot more grease. And that's what the base, basically you're deep frying the bacon. So it's just splashing everywhere then? No, it's not splashing. That's what I'm telling you. You're deep frying the bacon, but there's enough content of bacon and grease together that there's no, no a splash. Oh, eventually I will finish this. Uh... Yeah, this is going very slow. No, I don't want to. So this is what you want to begin looking for is notice the foam and it begins making this foam on top, and that's when it's, look, look, it's gonna come out and it's gonna go on to our, the plate that has paper towels. It's coming. Here. I like to use, oh, this Le Creuseau, you know, the big green Le Creuseau. Oh, okay. That's... Here, you can remove this, please. Get that out of here immediately. Okay, I'll be the helper. Yeah, you be the helper for the moment, because our bacon's getting crispy, and this is a very critical stage. Get some paper towels. That wine was good, the mold wine. Yeah, I know, you've had enough of it. Would you get, grab me some more paper towels, please? Quickly. This is a critical stage. We don't want the bacon to be overly crispy. More? No, that'll do. And you really want to put the paper towels down. And notice now it's a complete foam on the top of the bacon. You turn the heat off, and it's going to come out nice and crispy. Do you want another spoon? You want to be careful. Mm, very careful. You can feel the foam. Mm -hmm. 
that tells you that it's done. You said you wanted crispy. Now, I don't normally like my bacon crispy. I love I like it limp. Bacon. No, 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 I don't like anything limp. Nevertheless, I, I like my bacon limp. I like my bacon crispy. Fight part to the mushroom. Now see how see how nice and crispy this is becoming? Fight part to the mushroom. Never move. Never move. I like to pat it. Do you? To remove some more of the fat. Now are we gonna use the um, mixer or anything today? Yes. For what? I don't remember, but the... So this is something I think the people should know. If you're going to do the pearl onions, you need to find somebody to either do them with you or for you. Actually, your mother really comes in handy for these things. Yes, it does, doesn't We love having his mother over for the holidays because we give her all these jobs. And she hardly speaks a word of English. So the you scat just... work. The scut work, yeah. It's not scat work, it's scut work. S-C-U-T. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's not... Well, I thought it was scat work because... <laughs> I'm going to no, start crying now. <laughs> but no, it's scut work. S-C-U-T. Oh, I know. Oh, my God. Here, come here. Come I here. It's no, okay. No, I have my here, own I, towel. It's, no, it's all clean. I got you a I clean I have my one. own towel. So that this towel. It's clean. I know, but for dishes. What's the carrots for again? <gasps> Did you do the carrots? Yeah, the oh, carrots okay. in there. Oh Don't, God. God. Have a cow. Half and quarter. Can I have some more wine, please? No. You can't. You've had enough. Is this going to be enough time to put in with your butter? Yes. See, I think had you used... Of course you don't know. You are just a doctor. The beater. See, that doesn't show you much. It's, it's too... Look! Oh! Look! Miracle. Miracle just happened in front of our eyes. Uh, as soon as it starts, like, spewing all over the place... Because that's when the butter... That's when milk, it happens. That's when the butter milk oh, separates from the what, butter. But you got it on your face. <laughs> It's buttermilk. You know what that looked like? Buttermilk? Yeah, it looked like you got buttermilk on your face. Yeah, that's exactly what it looked like. No, seriously, it did. Don't use the dish <laughs> towel. <laughs> God, it's hot in here, isn't it? Jeez. Now, you know what I think you should do? I'm sure you're going to tell me. Uh-huh. I think you should knead, knead the thyme right in with the butter. So I didn't use this. The cheesecloth. The cheap cloth. Cheese. Oh. Here we go. And of course, you have to have a little taste. Of course. And if you want, you can add salt. Mmm. Your soup is essentially finished over here, so after you've simmered it for an hour, we're doing something else. When all the vegetables have gone soft. And they have. Remove some of the extra broth and reserve it. Remove the cloves. Did you put cloves? What cloves? You didn't add cloves. Two cloves. You forgot the cloves. You forgot the cloves. Just sprinkle some clove powder in then. It's too late to put it in now. No, it's not. There. Because I like to follow the recipe. Was I supposed to put something else in here that I didn't know about? Like no, let's see. salt and pepper? I didn't do any of that. You didn't give me instruction. We put the onions, yeah. We did the we did, we did the leeks, the, the celery, the onions, carrot, the fava beans. Did you we put were the fava beans? fava beans in there? Yeah, the uh, bean soup. You didn't put the fava beans? See, that's what... A lot of talking. See, that's what happens when you drink too much. So no. the bean and bacon soup really must... It, it's if just... there is a missing ingredient, you, you try it. to do... No, don't fake it. Well, you are my helper. I told you about the fava well, beans. Well, I didn't know I was supposed to do everything. If you want me to just cook it all, just say so. You made the... It's a, it's a bean soup without beans, because somebody <laughs> forgot to put the fava beans. But there were no beans in the bean and bacon soup. He never put the beans in the bean and bacon soup. But I think you forgot to bring the beans. Of course. Just, well, put them in now. We'll just cook it some more. Don't worry. These are lima beans. I couldn't find... Uh, they're not even fava beans. This whole thing, of course, it's always my fault. Let so. me check to make sure you put everything in there. Okay, go ahead. Go back through the whole thing. Two leeks, did you? Yes. Check. Say yes. check. Check. Two stalks of celery. Check. Two medium onions. Check. One carrot. Check. Two 15-ounce cans of fava beans. 
I don't think yeah, you have to improvise beans. because you never bought the beans. Two whole cloves. Yes. Salt and ground black pepper. Yes. Six cups of beef broth. Yes. So I I tell you, I, don't remember I tell you to make a list, a hand list. I make the list. Exactly. And, and, you're, on your, make and you're always doing this thing on your cell phone, cell phone, cell phone, cell phone. And then you have all these little grocery lists that because pop up I'm on your cell phone. Because I'm electronically savvy. And I answer all the... Well, the, you may be electronically the, savvy, but you didn't have the beans for the bean and bacon soup. So your electronics didn't save you then, did they? No. And then I get blamed. I don't recall that. And the bacon goes at the end. See, I did the bacon. It's not enough that I did the bacon. No. I have to do... I have to like know every nuance of the recipe. I have to give a full-on performance. Well, everyone else just has to get through it. Did need to cook a little longer. The beans yeah, well, we just yeah. somebody forgot to add the beans in the yeah, beans. Yeah, they did, didn't they? <laughs> he didn't forget stupid, the bacon. Stupid, stupid helpers. Who needed them? Did you help deglaze the pan? Oh my God! It did. Dissolving all the lovely, sticky, tasty stuff yes. into the gravy. Sticky, tasty. Mm -hmm. One tablespoon of flour. I got the, the flour for you. Well, thank you. Get the gold medal, like Mama used to use. On the rare occasion she ever cooked anything between drinks. That helped. Oh, someone's visiting again. It's not enough. Do you want me to get it? There's always somebody bothering you, interrupting you while you're trying to cook something. Lots of interruptions. It's the same thing with us. There's always somebody bothering and interrupting. interrupting. Hello. Hello. On the bottom is male and the top is here. Thank you. A cooking show, oh, kind oh. of. If we tell you, we have to kill you. Whatever, the, the, the FedEx person's at the door. The, in general surgery, and specialized in surgery. It's how you're going to experience so you have to doing that recipe. You have because to you get interrupted. Now let's just see what little treats we got today, shall we? It's the iPad mini! And it arrived just in time. So Actually, I really did. From the weight of it and the size, I thought it was just another gold coin. Yeah, we probably shouldn't tell people that we receive gold coins. <laughs> it sounds so elitist. And they're not at home there. Like the no, they're not buried in the yard. Or in the bank. Because you're not going to take one of those little metal detectors and go find them. What is it? Hmm? Hello? I don't it, know. Whose what name is. is on it? It's my name. Oh. We're not telling you which bank they're at either. Deep, I don't know what you it can is. See, you can see why this is all just such a mess today because... Basically, I'm cooking alone. They were already pre-cooked. They just needed to be reheated. They just needed to be reheated if you want me to talk to them. So if you've made a mistake like we have, and not you've me, used but yeah, go ahead. fresh frozen, it's not such a big deal. Thank you. He's preparing the... Uh, everything. Uh, I'm preparing everything. It's, why don't you just stand there and lean on the counter and pose for the day? I've got everything under control. So I'm I'm waiting. Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm just a, a constant burden for you today, aren't I? How is the soup doing? How is the soup doing? How is the soup doing? Well, I I hate to tell you, I don't think the soup's going to be any good. Why? Because m my initial tasting of it is really it's lousy. But it's medieval soup. Yeah, it's medieval, all right. You have to keep all of that Medieval mind. doesn't have to mean like, did you, did you see how fat Henry VIII got? Of course, he wasn't medieval. Exactly. Yeah, they must have perfected their recipes because this is, this, is, this is not blowing my skirt up. I don't care how much bacon you put in it. Check the taste. Check add the who? The taste. Oh, the taste. And then add the brandy if you are using it. Yes, Season. you definitely need brandy. Season with salt and pepper, according to your pref preference, and serve. So... There's no so. So today we prepared um, beans and uh, bacon soup and mulled wine. And you made it here with more ice. I always forget the last part. Can you repeat Do you want anybody to come back? Do you care if they come back and tune in again? 
Do you even give a no, That part, but so it has been... Join us next week. Join us. Hello. Okay, it has been made here with more ice. Join us next time. Thank you. So, and you made it all here with more ice. It has been, it has been made here with more ice. All right, so that's a wrap with the bean and bacon soup. Finally, with using canned beans, unfortunately. But finishing it. But this is an example of what can happen, even at home, to the most experienced cook who's forgotten something, like oh, he forgot. one like, of the main ingredients. Fun. You know, if, if you're going to make bacon and eggs, you probably should have eggs, you know. If you're going to make... If you're going to make pizza, you should probably have tomato sauce. And if you're going to make bean and bacon soup, you should probably have beans with the bean and bacon soup. I had the bacon. So, yeah. Oh, well, you got... Okay, well, I'm glad you took care of your responsibility. I'm having my Coke Zero. Mm. Thank you for watching. Cherry Coke Zero. It's delicious. Come back for more. Not Coke. For more. For, for more something. More or, his, or more of his stomach rumbling. Stop it! <laughs> it's the food I ate. There was all that Hawaiian swill. And coffee. Yeah. Here, have some Coke Zero. Come back for more. Have some more Coke Zero. <laughs> Come back for more making it with more eyes, not for Coke Zero.